And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets going up against the Cincinnati Reds. John Shambi on play-by-play. Chris Singleton providing the color. So the New York Mets have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said. But every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today. But there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And on the hill here today, Hunter Green. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason... He gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. Singy, this lineup has the benefit of playing behind a great pitching staff. They've got a really low ERA. Yeah, and, you know, with that said, there's not as much pressure on the offense, but make no mistake about it. Guys want to hit the ball hard, and they want to score runs. They want to jog around the bases, hitting the ball over the fence. So... Regardless of how dominant the staff can be, the attitude is we want to go out there and have some fun with the bat. So we'll see. One big inning in this one, you know, could be all they need, but you'd like to have multiple big innings. 2-2 two -two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed and just with good spin rate good rotation through the zone elevated a little bit get a lot of swings and misses and that's a really nice job right there swings through it and that's a strikeout and now the shortstop matt mcclain two one now on the ground out to short what a stop over to first got him great play to keep the leadoff man off base just love watching this guy do everything swing the bat and make great defensive plays just like that remember he won the platinum glove in 2016 you know this guy's the real deal defensively digging in Stuart fairchild homered last night added another hit as well bounce to the left side Gets it to first, and here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the... New inning getting started. Here's Pete the Alonso. The first base. The, the pitch. Alonso. Swing and a base hit. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. So digging in, Francisco Alvarez. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Struck him out looking. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. And now Bader up to the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The one-two. 
Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. The second base, Jeff, Jeff. McNeil. Jeff McNeil stands in. Went deep in the ball game last night. One, two now. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. Runner around third. The throws offline. He's safe, and it's one nothing. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Runners at the corners here. One away. Here's Starling Marte. That misses, and it's two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Swings and misses. And the count is even two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Line drive. Pulls it in on the run. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 2-0. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. And stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. Three for seven in the series so far. One and two here. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Mets two and the Reds nothing. Back here at Great American Ballpark, and the batter now is Joey Votto. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the grab. Two down. Number 47, the next to hit. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Nobody left for Cincinnati. They trail things here, 2-0. Out of the third inning, here's Brandon Nimmo. The wide to kick the pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Shohei Otani up to the dish. The other way, and he beats the shift. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Swung on, popped up on the infield. And it's caught for the out. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Green throws over. Otani back in. Hunter Green has a long way to go before he's the most famous baseball player from his high school. Mike Stanton went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California. Of course, now we know him as John Carlos Stanton.
Foul ball still a one and two count. Otani off of first with two away. And now the count is even. Lined into right. Can't get their base hit. The throw in. Safe. Not in time to get him. And it's first and third with two away. And everything came together for him. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Now, Francisco Alvarez. One ball. He's great. The one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two outs. And the one two misses to even the count. It's a good take. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the third out of the inning. Two left for the Mets, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. In now for the Reds, Kurt Casale. The 1-1 is fouled off. And a one-two again. Two balls. Two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what. Pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Reese Hines. The next to hit for the Reds. And a base hit into right center field. He was all Bad over out. that one. That pretty much Looks split the zone down the middle, yeah. and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner on at first with one gone. Now it's Nick Senzel. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. And he hammered that to straightaway center field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. Tell you what, that wind is blowing straight in. Got to be a big man if you're going to go through the no, wind in that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Matt McClain. 2-2. Two -two. This one lifted in the air, left field. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Reds leave one. They're still down. It's two zip. Start of the fourth. And stepping in is the speedy Harrison Bader. To third. Throw over to Votto. One up, one down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. McNeil. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Now a screamer into the outfield. Senzel right there to make the grab. Two away. Now bad at it. Right field. Starling. Starling Marte up to him. The 1-1. One -one. Popped up first base side. Fair ball. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. He's in there. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it.
So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Strike two. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And that's a foul ball. Here comes a 3 2. And he grounds one to the right side. India in plenty of time to first, and that will end the inning. Met strand one. They're up 2 0. And welcome back. Ready, Ready to go. go. Bottom Red. four. Now it's the Red's 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 DH. Stuart Fairchild. Fairchild. Swing and a ball popped up. And that one gets down. Fair ball. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The left so up next, T.J. Friedel. He's over for 1. Friedel. In the air to left center. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one away. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Joey Votto. The pitch. Run around the move. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. The throw to third. And he's out. As a base runner right there, you're making the call yourself. This ball is clearly in front of you, and you've got to know for sure if you're going to be able to make it safely to third. That time, he was wrong as a really nice throw came into third. Jonathan Indy at the plate. He's 0 for 1. And now two balls and a strike. That one sliced foul. That's a laser base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now the third baseman, number 47, went down on strikes his first time through. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. High fly ball out towards left field. That one's carrying. And that ball is gone. He sends it out of here. And they tack on three. It's 3-2. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. So two down. Kirk Casale, the next to hit for the Reds. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Slides, but it gets by him. Love how he let that ball travel, like trusted it. his Number hands. Four. Nice job of going the other way. Stepping in, oh. Reese Hines. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Line to left, and that's just foul. And oh. ball four to a board. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we get? Gave you enough yeah, at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Casali over at second. Hines on at first with two down. Hit hard on the ground is short. They take the force out, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Brandon Nimmo. Here 
Here's a 1-1. Base hit into the outfield. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So, so a great job there, stepping up to the chest. Challenge. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now a chance. Yeah, this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Swing and a miss struck him out, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Hood gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for Ian Jabot into the game. And we all know about his slider. It's just Number filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now it's Frankie Lindor. And that one in the air center field. McLean sizes this one up, snags it on the run. And there are two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen. Buck Farmer, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Mole warming up as well. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Mets leave one. They're down three to two. Now on the bump, Adrian Hauser. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Here's the shortstop at the play. Matt McClain. Not shortstop. And that is cut on and miss. And the count, one and two. On the ground. Oh, wow. nice play. The throw, nicely done for the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. Now it's the DH. Stuart Fairchild, one for two. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Alonso under it. Reaches over the wall. And he's got it. Hey, man. Four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now, here is T.J. Friedel. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The wind of the pitch. Hit hard. That gets through. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Runner at first with two away. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto. Righty delivers. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Smash to the left side. Lindor on the first. And Votto is retired. And that is the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. 
Back here in Cincinnati, top six. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Right side, foul territory. And there's one down. Harrison Bader now at the plate. And a base hit up the middle. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Sam Mole. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And now it's going to be Jeff McNeil. Line drive, that's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And the throws off line, safe at third. Nice line drive to pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Time runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him and in the inning. Starling Marte digs in now. Swings and misses. One now one and two. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Ripped into center base head. In comes the run from third. Back even. It's 3-3. Three, three. That's three singles in a row. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Now the batter now, Brett Beatty. The 1-1. One -one. That one the other way. Senzel makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. McNeil trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Back here at Great American Ballpark. Where we go bottom six. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jonathan India. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Well, these Reds putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Next for Cincinnati, number 47. He's already homered here in this one. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Got him swinging. Up next in Cincinnati. Here's Kirk Casella. Kirk. Kirk. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two-two now. And another ball. Three, Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. The count two and one. In the air, left field. Bader sizing it up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Red strand a couple. Still tied. Three and three. Back. Kick. 
here at the ballpark. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. The pitch. Up the middle. It's through for a hit. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Shohei Otani. Snap throw to first. Oh, he's and he's back standing. The pitch. And a count one and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Left hand batter waits. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And a pitch. Swings through that. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And here it comes. Base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Here comes the throw. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off the tee. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. New pitcher now, Buck Farmer. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Check on the runner, and he's back in easily. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Nimmo, the runner at third. Lindor at first, two out of the inning. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Drew Smith on the pitch out of the pen here. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. So the batting order turns over, and the batter will be the shortstop, Matt McClain. And a pitch. And now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Stuart Fairchild getting ready to hit. One for three. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And that is in for a strike. Yeah, the count one and two. That one missed. Two and two. Wing and a ball popped up. Fires the first on the run, and that'll do it. Offense held in check there. We look ahead to inning number eight. All tied up at three apiece. All set. for the start of the inning and stepping in for New York Harrison Bader 
Next pitch downstairs, and yeah, that's ball two. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And it's even up. Right-handed reliever. Hard hit, right side. Tosses to first, and Bader is set down. Now back, second base, Jeff. McNeil. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets known for his late inning heroics right side India in plenty of time to first two up two down here at the top of the eight well there's a lot riding on that at bat right there nice job of the pitcher to bear down make the pitch get the ground ball excellent piece of work Starling Marte will hit next he was the big part of the field last time nice liner to center 3-2 on the way. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Mets. Score remains tied at three. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Joey Votto now at the plate. And the right hander deals. Come back into the mound. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes, and very difficult to lay off. Number 47, the next to hit for the Reds. He's already homered in this game.
kicks and deals. And that's downstairs and outside. And he walked him. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Next offering misses, and now three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Will Benson, and this is a big at bat in this ball game. One to one. There's the swing and a miss. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. So they strand a pair. Ninth inning coming up, all tied up at three apiece. So remaining in the game defensively, Will Benson. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. T.J. Antone taking over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. And a pitch. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted. Popped in the air. Left side. Two down. You go ahead and count 3-1. I think as a leadoff man that's got the ability to change the game with your speed, you want to really, really lock in on your pitch in that 3-1 count. And he hit a borderline pitch there. That's just adjustments you want to see a kid make. He didn't make it in that at bat. Good eye right there. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Lucas Sims up and loosening in the pen. Here's a 2-1 just missed Francisco Lindor up next for the Mets there's a strike got him looking down on strikes and he knew it. So they go quietly there. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. All tied up at three apiece. Pitch hitter coming on. Jake Fraley. He represents the winning run.
next offering is downstairs. To the right side, and he grabs it foul. And now the count filled up three and two. Matt McClain up next for the Reds. Hard hit to third. Beatty to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Two out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just the needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. At the play, Stuart Fairchild swings and misses. And a count one and two. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Started after the one two pitch. Appeal to first. Didn't go. Two, two down. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Alonso puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. Nine is it. Staying in the game on defense. strike the pitch out towards right center field Benson puts it away runner tags it second and he makes it up to third with one away and next will be the Mets cleanup hitter Pete Alonzo got him swinging for the strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater so two down now, and here is Francisco Alvarez. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Bullpen activity starting up now. Lucas Sims loosening up for manager David Bell. Votto drifts towards it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is the inning. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to the bottom of inning number 10. All tied up at three apiece. On to the bottom. Of the 10th. And now, T.J. Friedel. So a lefty out of the pen, Brooks Raley. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. So a big opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning. Yeah, and you know they're eager to cash in. You just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake. Got to play this smart. He takes it on his own. One out in the bottom of the 10th. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front. Rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. That one back up the middle and it gets through. In comes the winning run, and the Reds walk it off in extra innings. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that will be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And the final score here, 4-3. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.
The final line score for our ball game this afternoon.